Question number one, what is 200,000 grams converted to hectograms, Hg? Number two, what is 20 kg converted to hectograms? Number three, what is 200,000 hectograms converted to tons? We are given that one hectogram is equal to 100 grams, one kg equals 1,000 grams, and one kg is one kilogram, and that is equal to 0 0.001 ton. The first one is, what is 200,000 grams in hectograms? So we write 200,000 grams, and what is one hectogram? And one hectogram is 100 grams. So we can cancel grams and grams, and what do we get? Hectograms. So 200,000 divided by divided by 100. What is 200,000 divided by 100? 2,000 hectograms. So we replaced 1 with 1 hectogram divided by 100. Why? Because 100 grams is equal to 1 hectogram. So we get our answer as 2,000 hectograms. Question number 2. What is 20 kg converted to hectograms? What is 20 kg converted to hectograms? Now here we have a problem. We are given the conversion from hectograms to grams. We are given the conversion from kg to grams. We are never given the conversion from kg to hectograms. So what do we do? Again, we multiply by 1 and 1. 20 kg times 1 times 1. And then your goal is to get rid of kg. So we put kg at the bottom. And what is 1 kg equal to? 1,000 grams. So we can get rid of kg and kg. So right now we have our answer in grams. Now what is one hectogram equal to? One hectogram is equal to 100 grams. So grams and grams cancel out. So what do we get? 20 times 1000 divided by 100. And what is that? 200 hectograms. So 20 kg is equal to 200 hectograms. Question number three, what is 200,000 hectograms converted to tons? Again, there is no direct conversion from hectogram to tons, so we have to go with what we have. We are given the hectogram conversion to grams, we are given kg conversion to grams, and we are given kg conversion to the ton. So 200,000 hectograms, so we multiply one times one times one. 200,000 hectograms times 1, and we write 1 in such a way that 1 hectogram is equal to 100 grams. So this is our first one. Why? We want to get rid of hectograms. So now we have our answer in grams. Now from grams, we go to kg. And what is 1 equal to? 1 kg divided by 1,000 grams. Why do we put 1,000 grams at the bottom? So that grams and grams can cancel out. So now we have our answer in kg. Now we want to get rid of kg, so what do we do? Multiply by 1 again and replace 1 in such a way that kg is at the bottom. So we have kg and kg cancel out. So we get our answer in ton. So 200,000, 200,000 times 100 times 100 times 0 0.001 times 0 0.001 divided by 1,000 divided by 1,000. So what do we get? It is equal to 20, 20 tons. Please don't forget to visit our website. He can help. Thank you.